Now I will make my first reseller. I will create it. Add reseller. See, enter information on your reseller. It's almost the same thing like the administrator. Contact name. Move forward, choose country. We're still in Romania. And we will assign to this reseller the billing plan we have created and passwords do not match. I made a mistake. A mistake. Let's do it again. See if it works. It works! All right, now I will establish the permissions for the reseller. Mm -hmm. So I will let this reseller have let's say maximum 10 clients, give him about 300 extensions, maximum number of queue extensions, we'll just give him 10. Oh, the, those are uh, the necessary ones for um, call center, for support and so on and so far. Voicemail center extensions. There have to be 300 because each extension has to have its own mailbox. I have created my first reseller. Now, basically, each reseller could log in and add his own clients. I will continue doing that at the administrator level just for a demo demonstration. So, I will create a billing plan for the clients. It's almost the same thing we did before. We'll just call it now the client billing plan. Billing plan monthly charge let's choose 0.2 cents per second and agree okay I've done that too now uh, we have the billing plan that we can assign to the client so we should just add a client I will add a client on the reseller level. Let's go. Add client. Right. It is the same thing we did before. It's on another level. And we'll just go assign the billing plan we created for him and move on and establish his permissions. We'll just give him up to 100 extensions this time. Maximum number of Q extensions. Let's just establish two. I've done a lot of work till now. I am the administrator. I have created a billing plan for the reseller then I have created a reseller. I've also made a billing plan for his clients. Then I have created a client and now I'm going to help the client make a billing plan for his extensions. Let's go. I choose the client and then I choose billing plans, add the billing plan and enter the information. I have just added a 10% profit to this billing plan. Now we should add an extension. 
add extension. All right, this is one of the 100 extensions this client can have. We'll establish a phone number. This is a phone terminal extension type we have worked with. We'll just assign the billing plan and see what happens. All right, we'll just establish the permissions. I'll check this box. The extension is multi-user aware. That would help. All right, agree. Edit the information on the phone terminal. All right, there are a lot of features here. I think it's easy to work with them, but I only want to work now with the voicemail. All right. I will set a password. One, two, three, four. I know I will choose better passwords in the future. Okay. Voila! The extension has been added. I want to test it right now. Here's a little trick. This phone has been already configured with the server ID, username and password. This can be done either using these buttons or over a browser interface. But this has no connection with our system, so I shall skip it. I want to call the system and create a personal welcome message. I will just put it on speaker and then dial star 95. That is the standard extension a user must use in order to get at his mailbox. Star 95. The voicemail system. Hello. Password. One, two, three, four. You have no messages. Press I knew two that. to change folders. Press zero for mailbox options. Okay, Press zero. One to record your unavailable message. All press right. After the tone, say your unavailable message and then press the pound key. Hi, I'm Andrea. I'm not in the office right now. Too bad. Go later. One, okay. to accept this recording. Okay. Let's it. listen to hey, it. Andrea, I'm not in the office right now. Too bad. Go later. Press one, to <laughs> this okay. Has you can bet I can't use this message at the office. But anyway, I don't have a voicemail there, so they should consider a smarter system. So that was all. I hope you enjoyed my demonstration just as much as I enjoyed recording it. To tell you the truth, it was unbelievable to see that such a powerful system is so easy to install and configurate. Yes, I know my friends helped me the first time, but I can tell you that that was the fastest training I have ever received. So go to www.4psa.com and download 4PSA VoIP Now. An evaluation license is available. In 30 minutes, you should have everything up and running. It would be faster to download the installer rather than the ISO image I used today, but in this case you should have the operating system already installed. You will manage to do it even faster than I did. It was quite fun! <laughs> Bye! Hope you liked it!